before we start to move to 8K. Oh, no. Let me all start again. Oh. Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the differences in HDMI standards in cables and what that means to you. I won't be talking about the different connectors on cables because that's pretty much self-explanatory. We've got sort of mini HDMI and standard HDMI cables and male and female and that's pretty much all you need to know on the on the different sort of connectors but the important thing is what type of cable you're getting and what standard does it have and that has an impact on the ability of that cable to deal with the bandwidth that's being pushed through, the, num the amount of data that's being pushed through from the device that you're pushing that data from to the display. Now, when HDMI, when HDMI first came out, it was the de facto means of connecting a uh, HD source to, to an output, to a screen or monitor or projector. And the first standard was a 1.4, and this allowed um, 1080i and 720p. And you really couldn't go wrong. There was just one cable that did, did it all. And this remained that way for a good number of years. But back in the early days, all it was was 1080i and 720p, and it remained that way for a good number of years. And it wasn't until sort of 4K came along and 4K panels came along that they realized that there was a requirement for more data to be pushed through this cable. And that, that cable really wasn't capable of uh, dealing with the amount of bandwidth, uh, the amount of data that was being pushed through it. So a new standard came along and a new sort of form of cable came along and that was the HDMI 2. It offered everything that HDMI 1.4 offered but it allowed a, a much higher um, uh, bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second, which allowed the support of 4K at 60 frames per second. So this was a huge shift from 1.4 to HDMI 2. Now, HDR again requires the, requ the need for more bandwidth. You would, you would ideally need a, a 2.0A cable. Now, this allows HDR, HDR, and it also allows 4K. It also allows standard HD services. So they're all sort of go back. But you certainly don't need a, a HDMI 2.0A for 4K. But I would certainly recommend it if uh, you're using HDR. Now, we've come, finally to where we are today with HDMI 2.1. Now these are the latest ones that are coming, that are that are out now. Um, they've been around a short while, maybe, I think maybe a couple of years, 18 months or so, they've become more prevalent. And basically they allow for faster refresh rates. So say if you're using a gaming um, panel, a gaming monitor, or a gaming TV, gaming TVs are out, that require, and you're connecting it to a PC, or perhaps you're looking to get a PS5 or a P, uh, an Xbox Scarlet, which are aiming at, you know, 60 frames plus per second. If you've got a PC with a, uh, a high-speed, uh, super-fast, say, NVIDIA 2080 Ti graphics card that's pushing out games at 120 frames per second or more, you would need and you've got a high refresh rate tv or or monitor in many cases or gaming monitor you would need the ability to push that data out really quickly and the only real cable that can do that is a 2.1 as hdmi 2.1 again it offers the same things that are off that all the previous cables offer 4k hdr um enhanced hdr and 2.08 2.0 at 4K and 60 frames per second and 1.4 at uh, 1080 and 720i. So it's all backwards compatible. But if you want a high refresh rate, you've got a high speed panel or high speed TV uh, with a huge refresh rate and you're pumping out a game at 120 plus frames per second, you are going to need a cable that can deal with that amount of refresh, that amount of speed 
and um, it will say a lot of cables sort of from 2.08 to 2.1 will say high speed cable um, but it's important that if you're connecting it to if you say if you're going for HDR um, I would pretty much recommend um, going for a 2.1 anyway uh, simply because you have that sort of you're future proofing a bit because 2.1 is going to be a while around for a while uh, before we then move on don't be fooled by the fact that a lot of cables will say high speed cable and just give the 18 gigabits that's all well and good but it could just be a standard HDMI 2.0 cable so if you're a bit like me and you're a bit of a geek and a nerd and you're going to be buying the new consoles that are going to be coming out next year and you're a big PC gamer as well such as me then uh, such as I am good English Stu uh, then 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 of course get 2.1 um, which should last you a good few years before we start to move to 8k oh no and we all start again <sighs> I hope this helps uh, any thoughts? Let me know what tech you're connecting. Let me know what things you're excited about buying. I love to hear about people and their gadgets. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell and whatnot. Give me a thumbs up and all that lovely stuff. And I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>